a level up and an advancement is going on right now. So you know I've got to double dip. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it is that time again. Time for us to take up another champion. Either a five star to rank five, or a six star to rank two, or possibly to rank three. Who do you think I'm gonna choose? I'll bet you can't guess. But if you think you can, leave a comment in the section below and let me know. Put your guess in. I'm very curious to see what you guys will guess. But we're going to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Immortal abomination. Bet you didn't see that no, coming. No, Lord Shadow. Wait, what? Do not do this. What do you mean? He is ugly. I don't care. I don't care if he's ugly. Look. This champion here is a poisoner god. Ugly. And I don't have a poisoner. It doesn't matter. At that level. So we're going to do Resist. it. Resist. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ugly. He is ugly. But we're going to do it. Here we go. It is the dark I don't care what you're talking influencing about. Influencing you. There it is. Resist. It's done. All right. I'm going to concentrate on this. You can keep talking if you want to. But we ranking this boy up right now. I thought I knew, Lord Shadow. But after this, I don't know him at all. I mean, sure, this is a poison god. And yes, he doesn't have anyone in his roster that currently fills this role. And yes, he is suicide friendly. In fact, he thrived off a of suicide. So I can understand the appeal that this champion would have for Lord Shadow. He's watched others play with him, and he was impressed. But above all else, no matter what else is said, he is very, very ugly. All right, that's enough. That's enough. We took him up. He's maxed out. Let's uh, take a look real quick at him. We're not going to go into him at all. There we go. You guys can see his stats. Uh, we'll be playing around with him a little bit more. Look at his synergies. I took this guy up to rank four uh, in preparation to take him to rank five. So this was actually the ideal, perfect time to do that. Uh, we'll just take a look real quick here also at his uh, abilities. We're not going to go into them at all in this video, but we will in a later video. All right. Let me show you guys just before we get to the gameplay, uh, show you why I decided to do that now. At the beginning, I mentioned the double dipping. Look at that. We've got the level up and we've got a science advancement. OK, and so 14 minutes was left on the science advancement and I got to go run, take my sister to the doctor. And I didn't have a whole lot of time to make this portion of the video. I'll do the gameplay later, but we've gotten all that we needed for the science advancement. Just with that one rank up was enough to uh, put us at fifty nine five seventy. And after I see what the next one uh, will be, maybe it'll be another advancement, then we'll decide who to take up at that time. All right, so in a moment, we're gonna get into some gameplay of Immortal Abomination. All right, let's go into Realm of Legends. This is the team that I'm going in here with. Let's take a look at the synergies that are active here. Uh, we've got just a couple. This one here, basic attacks required to trigger a self-poison are reduced by two. So I should be able to get my self-poisons uh, up a little bit faster. And we also have 
this one that's going to give him more damage uh, and more potency, basically, in the poisons and the acid burn effects. All right, so it's, it's more damage. All right, let's go ahead in here. Now, I'll tell you right now, I have not really played with him, so this is not going to be an ability breakdown or how best to use uh, Immortal Abomination. But I have seen a, a video or two. Uh, I don't have him awakened, but I am running suicides. All right, so what I'm going to try and do is build up to a special two and then try to build up to a special one, repeat it, try and get um, some of the uh, acid aura, toxic aura up on myself. And we'll see, we'll see how it works. All right, so I have one toxic aura up right now. And you see I don't take a lot of damage from his uh, special two. That's because of the weakness that gets placed on them. Very nice. All right, so now, should be able to try and get to another special two, I think. Here we go. So we've got two toxic auras up. But no poisons. So we hit that special one. Now we've got poisons. Uh, poisons are needed in order to maintain the toxic aura. Alright. We're still going good, even though I'm firing specials off. You know, it's not that bad here. Let's see. Don't know if I was supposed to do that. All right, we've got three toxic auras up. So now we need to fire off a special one. All right, now we've got all these poisons up on myself. And I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it, but uh, I want to see if we can get to a special three. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't think we're going to make it. Wow. This guy is beefy, isn't he? Yeah, we didn't even make it to a special three. Uh, but that's pretty much how I think uh, he should be played. Uh, based on what I've seen, uh, building that up. But I do want to, I'm not going to fight that fight because she's poison immune. Uh, but I do want to show his uh, special three. So let's go back in. And we are going to, instead of trying to build up to three toxic auras, we're going to maybe do one or possibly two and uh, fire off a special three. All right, so let's go in again. And notice what his health was at uh, when we left uh, that last fight. It was pretty good. All right. All right, getting his poisons up on him. So I might go almost to a special three, fire off the special two. Got a toxic aura up. And you can see the poisons counting down. And you need those poisons to maintain the aura, which is why you fire the special one off, because that gives you more poisons. So the aura will last a little bit longer. Okay, now we see if we can build all the way up to a special three. When we have that one toxic aura up on us. Because uh, you do a little bit of extra damage with the special three when you have your toxic aura. But as you can see, 
Immortal Abomination is a beast. He may not give you the big, giant, um, yellow numbers that you want, but oh my goodness. Look at the damage. Look at this. He's hitting me, but do I care? <laughs> Look at my health. All right. So you can see we have one toxic aura up. So I fire off that special one. Okay. And we're just keep going, man. This guy is pretty good. I must say. I am impressed. And, and I'm not, I don't even have him awakened. I can see why people want to get this guy as a six star, though. And he definitely fills a hole in my roster. If I need to go up against anyone that's not poison immune, you know, any healers, uh, you'll notice that with the acid burn, he also put up a petrify, which reduces healing. Uh, I think his petrify does 60%. Um, so he can shut down any non-poison immune healers. Uh, so I'm impressed. This guy is pretty good. Uh, I was not sure uh, when I did the rank up, even though I had seen some videos. Uh, my alliance mate, Big Blue, um, has taken him up, I believe, as a six star to rank three. And I see why. He is very good, very worthy of a rank three or a rank five as a five star. All right, so that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Uh, I will be making some video breakdowns of these different champions that I'm ranking up. Right now I'm on a rank up spree, but then I will go back, do some more research, and then go into it uh, in more detail. All right, so take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you thought about the video. What do you think about my rank up? Do you think it was a worthy rank up? even though he's ugly. And the only thing uglier than this is this. <laughs> all right, take care, and you all have a blessed day.